Hi guys, we're going to look at this question like equilibrium but with a little twist because now as you can see, you have a pulley up there now. Pulley is our good old friend from chapter 5. Let's take a look how we can decipher or figure out what this question wants. So you have a small sphere with some mass, while well, they give you a pretty big mass, in the vertical uniform electric field strength given to us. That's important info. Thread passes over two frictionless pulleys. Oh, it's frictionless. So, no other forces involved. Okay. And a mass of 2 gram on the other end. The sphere is in equilibrium. That's important. And that's very helpful too when we're trying to solve it later. What is the charge on the sphere? So, why do we need a charge on the sphere? Firstly, you can have a bunch of forces acting. You have tension force pulling this sphere up. You're going to have a weight of the sphere pulling it down. Right? Um, if I just look at T and W alone, are they in equilibrium? Let's check. T, what is the tension of this, the, 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 the string? This tension here is caused by this mass on the other side. So to remember a little bit, if these pulleys are frictionless, you have a tension here which is same as the tension on this side. And the shortcut is this way. On the right side of the pulley, you have 2 gram mass, which is, I say in kg, it will be 2 times 10, negative 3 kg times 9.81. This is mg, pulling it down here. As I say, m2g. And that tension is the same as mg, which is the same as the one over here. So tension in this case is 2 times 10, negative 3 times 9.81. This tension here is the same as this tension now. Ah. And this tension is the same as this mg. That's why I write it out like that. Let's see what is this value, just to check. 2 times 10, negative 3, 9.81. Wow, that's quite small. A very, very, very small tension value here. Let me write it out. 0 0.01962 Newton. Tiny. Okay. And then if you look at the weight down here, this is also mg, but a different m, called m1g. Uh. This weight of this charged sphere by itself is, what's the mass? 0 0.8 in kgs times 9.81. So 0 0.8 times 9.81. That is also very small, 0 0.848 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons. Very small, very, very small. So if you compare these two, which one is smaller? Weight is smaller. Uh-oh. So it cannot be equilibrium. You need the electric force to point in which direction. W is smaller than T. So you will also have an electric force helping to make this thing equilibrium pointing downwards. Okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so here we have, mm, we need an electric force. So sometimes it's okay if you write your electric force pointing upwards, you just have to remember the negative positive sign, how to deal with them later. But if not, then you need to remember this way. If your T and W is not balanced, means there's a third force, which is electric field, and which direction is it pointing? You need to figure that out. So let me rub off this stuff again. And we're going to look at What's the best way or the clearest way to write out so you don't confuse the sign? Because you see the answer got negative, got positive. Okay, so let's redo this again. Wrap up all the stuff. Okay, we want equilibrium of the sphere. So if you redraw the sphere, we know there's tension, a very big one, uh, small weight, and now we know there's also going to be electric force helping to balance out the tension force. So electric force is going to be pointing downwards. If you get this step done already, it helps reduce confusion later. Sometimes people may draw Fe upwards, then they find it's negative, so they have to think uh, negative, negative means downwards or something like that. So okay, let's reduce confusion. Let's look at this T. So equilibrium means, well, let me say down is positive. How about that? This two will be positive, top up is negative. So for that particular sphere, it's in equilibrium, net force is zero, means you have W plus Fe, Wow, the E is supposed to be small. Fe minus tension. Or, sometimes we shortcut and we just write this step. 
the downwards forces equals to the upwards force on the sphere. Then we can plug in everything we know. So the W here is the weight of this sphere. So that is what we looked at, 0 0.8 times 10 negative 3 times 9.81. That's the weight of the small sphere. Plus, F is QE, so I'm going to say QE, equals to the tension, which is related to the weight of this, uh, this, this block on the right side. So that would be 2 times 10 negative 3 times 9.81. Okay. Oh, I forgot to write E. Ah, yeah. No more space, AD. This E is 2000. So when you write this out, and then you recalculate everything, 2 times 10 negative 3 times 9.81 minus 0 0.8 times 10 negative 3 times 9.81, divided by 2000. You will get a value, Q equals to 5.886 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs which you can rewrite as, if you want to follow the answer, 5.9 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, if you use this method, whatever sign you get is whatever charge it is. Okay, Because you will need a charge that will experience a force downwards. So what will experience a force downwards? Only positive charges will be attracted downwards. So it has to be positive in this way. So this is one of the best ways to do it, the clearest one where you don't have to worry about the direction of the electric field because... You already uh, decided where is the direction of electric field. Or direction, not direction, direction of electric force. Already decided so that you can not have to worry about the signs later. Okay? And how we know direction of, of electric field? Remember? Equilibrium. You want to see all the up force must equal down force. But if tension is bigger than W, W will need some help. Okay? So this Fe is going to help W. So, da -da -da, you will get in the end 5.9 microcoulomb. That is the answer that we will want. Hopefully that was helpful in helping you understand putting together good old electric field question now with some pulleys on top. Same old thing, just need to remember a bit how the pulleys work.